Namaste. So today we're going to do demonstration of the basic Nei Gung, which is uh, sometimes called horse stance, which is the basic exercise of uh, Shaolin Qi Gung. So in Shaolin Qi Gung, everything is very open. And uh, <laughs> birds are eating the bread that I put for them. And on the incoming breath, you raise up. On the outgoing breath, you sink down. The knees bend. And the whole body sinks down a few inches. So this is very difficult if you have any knee injury. You shouldn't attempt it, okay? For you guys with knee injuries, there's sitting qigong, which we'll go into later, uh, toward the end of the video. So, all right, regular video, uh, regular qigong. You've been walking. You have your energy moving. Uh, you have a little bit of uh, breath rhythm going. Cardio. <laughs> so then what do you do? You come and stand. Feet shoulder width apart and parallel. You'll see why that's important later. Then you stand in the normal way, arms down, and take a breath. And when you breathe in, you raise up your arms. And when you breathe out, you sink down. It's only a couple of inches, but it makes a lot of difference. This is called Nei Kung, Nei Gong, or horse stance, because it's like posting on a horse. Your knees are bent, your whole body is relaxed and flexible. Uh, because if you resist it, if you've ever ridden a horse <laughs> or a motorcycle on a dirt road, if you resist the bumps, they tear you up. If you relax and you let your body flex and go with the bumps, well, these guys are having a meeting here, so <laughs> then everything goes smoothly. Huh? You're able to maintain your directional stability even with all these random bumps and stuff. So it's the same way in Qigong. In Qigong, the whole body is relaxed. Uh, as relaxed as possible. How many muscles does it really take to stand like this? I think only two. One on the back of the legs and one on the front. Out of the quadriceps, only two of them are really necessary to maintain the posture. Other people can call it whatever they want. I call this exercise the pump. Because what it does is pumps the qi into the dan tian. See, the dan tian is part of the chakra system. Part of the anatomy of the subtle body. And in the subtle body, the, uh, there's the sex organs are there, but not as generative organs, as organs of pleasure only. And then in the next stage, instead of having the moving center and all that breathing stuff connected with it, <laughs> you have the Dan Tian, which is pure energy, right? It doesn't need to breathe, right? Then on top of that, you have the incoming energy through the lungs, which does need to breathe. 
So you have unity and you have duality. Because breathing represents duality, in and out. Then you have the pure energy, which doesn't need to breathe. That's chi. Pure life energy, pure being. Chi is part of Tao, which means it's real. It's a dhamma. It's a dharma. It's a real thing. So, you notice I'm standing here with my hands in a certain position. You can stand like this. You can stand like this. You can stand like this, which is very interesting. <laughs> and flow energy to yourself. You can stand like this and flow energy to an object or another person in the environment. Or you can receive chi. You can stand like this. See? Or like this. Now, in any of the postures of standing, the spine should be straight. And what do I mean by that? I mean it should feel like, like there's a, a pipe here. Huh? And it goes right through the middle of your spine. And when you go up and down, when you rise and sink, the whole spinal column merely slides along this pipe. The whole thing stays very straight. Watch how I stand. See, the butt is tucked in. The lower curve of the spine is straightened out. And then one stands as far as possible straight up. As if you dropped a, a, a plumb bob from the top of your head, from the thousand petal lotus, straight through the body to the ground. Okay? And then you just move up and down with the breath. I should do it to this side. It'll catch the sound better. You see, it's very much of a whole body movement. Everything, basically from the knees up, moves when you take a breath, in and out. In, raise up, out, sink down. And always relax, 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 right? Well, now I'm getting into the arm movements. You can also do these sitting in a chair. For those with uh, knee injuries, you know who I'm talking to. See, this is how these martial artists pump up their chi. So then they can do all kinds of far out stunts. But well, we're not here to do stunts. We're here to do meditation, right? So how does it apply to us? Well, first of all, doing qigong. And I'm still doing qigong as I'm talking to you. I'm standing with my knees bent. And I'm taking abdominal breaths. So... Uh, Doing Qigong as a prelude to meditation gets the body relaxed and it most importantly disassociates you from the gross body and gives you control over the subtle body, the energy body, the mental body. And so when the mental body is under control, then you can achieve peace, samadhi, very easily. Okay, so... If you sit for meditation and the body is not under control, especially the energy body, especially the mental body, the mind is jumping like a monkey. <laughs> How do you stop it? Well, you can't stop it with the mind. You need a leverage. 
you can't stop the mind with the mind. So what kind of leverage are you going to use? Some people use authority. They go to a spiritual teacher and surrender and like that. But you can also use this feeling of physical resistance. You know, when you stand, it's almost like you're leaning on something. After a while, you try it. <laughs> it's, it sounds weird, huh? But it's exactly as though you're leaning against the, the wall. As if I was to turn around and stand and lean up against the wall like this. You almost feel like that. Like something is supporting you. Huh? And of course what it is is your own chi. It's like you're riding on a ball of chi. Huh? Riding on a ball of chi. The, we see in the pictures of the ancient goddesses riding on a lion. What does that mean? Huh? Is it literal or is it figurative? Well, it can be li both, you know. But the, what the lion represents is the uh, energy of the Shakti. In our case, the Kundalini Shakti that resides at the base of the spine. So if you open up the chakras and, and make them available to her, because she is the life energy, she is the chi, huh? and it's significant that the South Chinese also worshipped Kuan Yin. Kuan Yin is the goddess of, of uh, compassion. And she's like the feminine component or form of Avalokiteshwara who is equated sometimes with Vishnu or whatever. Whatever. We know that Maya makes all these forms. So they are simply symbols for something. But what are they? Uh, a state of being. A state of being where everything is not controlled by consciousness, but permeated by consciousness. Uh, which means that like, it is consciousness. So there's no need for control because there's no, no difference between the controlled and the controller. That's non-duality. So this is realizable, believe it or not, in simply standing and breathing in the proper way. If you have the right pose, if your spine is straight, everything is aligned, and then you simply rise and sink. It's good to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Yeah, especially in the beginning. Helps you relax. Eventually you get to a place where you feel like you're riding on something. And that's why it's called horse stance. <laughs> Neekum. Huh? The Chinese name things by the noise they make. So a horse is a ne. Huh? I don't know what the word for pig is. <laughs> okay, so enough for today. The next time we'll get into um, the roots of Tai Chi, which of course Tai Chi is yin yang, it's duality, right? It's moving energy. This is static energy. This, is, this represents Brahman or Tao. Okay, so when, when Tao is, when you are in harmony with Tao, Everything is easy. Everything goes smoothly. Uh, you feel strong. You're without blame. Uh, you can you can act without interfering with anyone else's will. It's wonderful. <laughs> so this state of balance is yoga. This is available to everyone through this secret heaven path. Om Tat Sat. Buddha Sharanai. <laughs>